Right then, so we've got some stacked stuff now. So it says a crate of weight, 80 newtons, is stacked on top of a crate of weight, 100 newtons. Make separate sketches showing the forces acting on the upper and lower crates. So if I think about the upper crate, that's the 80. I've just got, I've got this crate which weighs 80 newtons, and that's actually on top of the 100 um, crate, 100 newton crate. So that's sat there. Right, so now if I think about the lower one, so the one on the bottom there, it's got a weight of 100 newtons, it's got its own weight of 100 newtons, and it's got like a force pushing back, but also you've got to take into account this, this idea that, the, that this crate is on top of it. So what they've done on the thing is to put an R1 pressing down. Now, if there was no acceleration, R1 is 80. But if there is acceleration, R1 is different. So you'd have to work out R1 before you, do, you worked out R2. So, sorry about that. So you'd have to work it out first. Right, so there's another question here. It says, a light scale pan is attached to a light inextensible vertical string. So you've got a scale pan carrying, uh, scale pan carries two masses. Right. So A rests on top of this. It's a similar idea to this. So A says to find the tension in the string. So you've got this light pan with a 600G in it. So we'll call that B. And a 400G in it being held by wires, string or whatever going up. So that's what you've kind of got. So you imagine what's pressing down on there. So it wants, uh, find the tension in the string. So I'm just going to look at the whole system. So the whole system is a box which weighs one kilo, because it's both of them. It's tension in the string, and it's being lifted up with an acceleration of 0.5 meters per second. So I'm looking at the whole system. So if I look, do F equals MA, I've got T minus G, is one lot of 0.5. So I've got T is roughly, uh, well, they put 10.3. So T is 10 newtons to 2 sig fig. There. Now B says the force exerted on mass B, on mass A, by mass A, sorry, on mass B. So here we go. So we've got mass B. So mass B is 600 grams, so 0.6 g, it's got a resultant force pushing up, but what it's also got is this other force, this one, pushing, uh, not, sorry, not that one, um, it's got A pushing down on it, hang on, do it that, do it, now, Ah, actually, because it's by mass A, I'm going to do it as 0.4 there. It's a 4 pushing down. So what I've got is my R, I use F equals MA. I've got R minus 0.4G is 0.4 lots of 0.5. If I rearrange that, it gives me an R value of roughly 4.1 newtons. It's a 2 cent fig. But it was by mass A, so I'm going to look at the weight of mass A pressing down on it. Because this is pressing down on top of mass B. And this is, so this is kind of like mass, this is mass B pushing back, if that makes sense. Right, C says, find the force exerted on mass B by the scale pattern. So if you imagine, B's pushing down, but the pan is pushing back. But B is pushing down with A pushing down on top of it as well. So what I can do is I can look at B. So if I look at B, then I have something like the result of minus, where is it? This 4.1, because that's fighting against it, minus the 0.6G. So that's both of them pushing down. It's equal to the mass 0.6 times.